everybody and welcome back to my next video. So this one is a bit different, let me explain. So I built this house and I thought I was recording and obviously I was because it recorded the first bit but then it must have run out of storage space or broken and it didn't record about an hour um, just after this, like it, this only lasts a little bit then it stops. So what I've done is I've shown you the first little bit and then I'll do a quick little video tour type thing of the bits that didn't record in this video and then tomorrow it will be the next bit and it's a speed build, normal speed build from there on out. So this is called the Rodin Mansion. Here we go into the video tour and it is based off the Rodin Museum in Paris, which I visited around Easter time. I know this is a bit late. It took me a while to finish. <laughs> so it's a very, very large uh, family home. I think it's got like kids' bedrooms and stuff. Um, so we are about to jump into... Well, we're already in the, the tour, but it, I think it'll start moving in a minute, the camera. So, right, I was very annoyed that it didn't record. I did press it. I don't know what's wrong. I think it's like when the storage is full, it just sort of stops recording for some reason. Anyways, my apologies about that. So, yeah, my videos have been kind of late the past few days and it's because, as I said, I've had plumbers in my house and there's been no water. So I went to Tom's house uh, for the day where, you know, because his house had water. <laughs> And I have only been doing the videos when I get back, because when I go to Tom's, I sit in the kitchen, because he's, like, he's got a massive dining, dining room table thing in his, like, his kitchen in his conservatory, is like one room, and there's just be loads of background noise, people cooking, the telly, all sorts. Also, there's really bad rain, and it's like a glass roof. Here we go. The camera is moving. <laughs> I was trying to stall till that happened. So, here is an hour into building the Rodin mansion so we've done the layout we've done the stairs in real life it's only two floors I have done three because it's like a big curvy spiral staircase and I wanted to get the curve in the staircase otherwise the floor plan would be all wrong landscaping this is the first time I tried this kind of landscaping doing the sort of path and then filling in all the gaps of the plants. I think I've done it in a few builds since, which I may have posted before this one, but this was the original one. This was the guinea pig. Oh my god, once I was trying to say like guinea pig, it was to like Tom's dad and his uncle, and I said hamster instead. It was quite embarrassing. Anyways, so in real life they have like bushes in the garden and they're meant to be shaped like bullets, like like from a gun. And um, I didn't really know what to do in The Sims, so I put these bushes in. Uh, we keep them in the actual museum. They're just there on the lawn. But in this, I wanted it, because it's like meant to be a family home. I wanted it to be a bit more family friendly. It just looks a bit bird, a bit weird, even though it does look like accurate. So in the end, w we actually... Um, Put like loads of flowers and plants and bushes and stuff around them and it looks more like all the other landscaping. So I will put some pictures of the actual Rodin Museum that I took when I went to Paris on the end of uh, maybe, maybe this video if I can get them on in time. Yeah, I'm trying to post every day so I'm trying to get it posted before it gets like too late but if I um, yeah I'll be posting it really late but in future I'm going to try and post earlier in the day like maybe record it the day before uh, just because I don't like posting at the same time every day you know some people are in bed um, it's, it's not a convenient time I know you can just like watch it the next day it's not like a live stream but I like to vary when I post obviously the garden does not look like this in real life it's a lot longer it goes a lot further back, but in The Sims you can't really get that shaped lot, so I improvised. And I, although I, I have taken bits of inspiration from the actual garden, like in the actual museum, and oh, here we go. Talk about the floor. So 
like like I did do a voice recording with this but the voice recording didn't record so that's why I'm doing this one now later on so yeah I took inspiration from the actual garden but sort of did my own garden not didn't base it on the layout of that one obviously it's got loads of statues in the garden because it's it's all Rodin's artwork so I did put a, quite a few statues in the garden when I built this and right the floor what I'm going on about there's these large floor tiles and I made my own checked floor and I was very very proud of the checked floor that I managed to make myself so that's that's what I'm banging on about there but um this I basically did it all blue because that's what it's like when you actually go there but that actually changes quite a lot which you will see in the speed build tomorrow now it took me so long to build this something like eight hours so I um, might have to do it in more than one video just because for it I don't like the videos to be too long I know mine are longer than other people's normally I don't like them to be too long and I want to um, you know I don't want to bore you all but I don't want to speed it up so much that you can't even see what I'm doing especially because this was one of my first videos and when I watched it back I actually realised how much I moved the camera so I can't do it too quickly otherwise you won't be able to see what I'm doing and it might give you a headache <laughs> so yeah I'll have a look at that, I'll have a look what speed I think I can sort of get away with but you will see tomorrow and the day after when I post the speed build so, my build yesterday was my first Make a House a Home video. It was my fixer upper house. And there's actually been quite a few people who downloaded it. If you do want to, if you do go and download it, then when you put it on the gallery, if you use hashtag make a house a home, it, it's in the description of the initial house. No one else has used that hashtag yet, which is really cool. It can be like my own hashtag <laughs> and yeah if you put that hashtag on there when you post it to the gallery I'll have a look and anyone who gives it a go and post it with the hashtag I will give you a shout out if you have your own YouTube channel let me know I can shout that out as well so thank you all for watching this sort of speed build slash house tour video I hope you've enjoyed it and I will speak to you all again tomorrow in the speed build Bye.